The Weddell Sea is a very remote uh, marine area uh, in Antarctica. It's to the east of the Antarctic Peninsula. For our expedition, the Weddell Sea expedition, we'll probably be the first people to go that far south in the Weddell Sea uh, since at least 2002. And probably only a handful of ships have ever been there since Ernest Shackleton was there in the Endurance in 1914-15. It's increased in its value for scientific importance remarkably over the last few years and that's because of climate change and global warming and what is happening to the fringing ice shelves around the Weddell Sea. Larsen A ice shelf and Larsen B which are on the eastern side of the Antarctic Peninsula they both collapsed in recent years and we're now seeing a big iceberg called A68 which is absolutely huge it's four times the size of Greater London that's just broken away in 2017 and that's also having major effects. Traditionally scientists such as Shackleton went into the Weddell Sea not to actually study it. What they were trying to do is to get to the land. Uh, so for uh, Shackleton it was a case that he wanted to get to the land so he could cross Antarctica and be the first person to cross it. So really the scientific importance has really only been realised in the last 15 to 20 years. So on our expedition we have a multidisciplinary team. So we have glaciologists, biologists, geologists, oceanographers, but we also are taking a whole range of state-of-the-art marine technology, such as uh, autonomous underwater vehicles, remotely operated vehicles, sediment corers, drones. So we need a, a range of technicians to be able to operate this highly technical equipment to provide the data which the scientists then use to examine what's going on. We're also hoping that because we're in such a remote region that the biologists on board they might well discover new species. Very few records are known from this particular area um, and we're also hoping that we can get uh, measurements of sea ice, uh, of water temperature which will help us uh, understand far better what's happening to the region particularly in terms of climate change and global warming. The data that we collect because it's in such a remote location, will be very important as basic data to put into numerical models of what's happening to sea ice around the world. And if we've got time at the end of that, then we're going to go further off into the, uh, into the Weddell Sea, deep into the central part of the ocean, uh, where uh, Shackleton's ship, the Endurance, uh, we think, rests on the seabed. No one's ever got to the Endurance before, so we're hoping that we might be the first. Um, so that would be a major challenge getting to that, to that wreck site, but if we do, it will be a pretty amazing discovery.